Hell to, to play a song uh, for you today. Um, some of you are old enough, all of us are old enough, to, rem to remember Andy Griffith for crying out loud. We're old enough to remember September 11, 2001. Um, I heard a man on the radio uh, the other day uh, talking about uh, how our nation has seen difficult times before. And uh, he mentioned 1968. And I'm not really old enough to remember 1968. I was alive, but I was not of age of consciousness. But he listed some of the, the frightening, tragic things of 1968. Uh, some were off fighting a war in Vietnam, some here in this room. Um, uh, that was the year that Bobby Kennedy uh, was assassinated, uh, but not before Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated. There were riots in, in our city streets uh, in 1968. It, it was a terrifying time for, for Americans. But you know what? We came together, we were one, and we got it together, in, I believe, in faith, a faith that unites and not divides. And then in 2001, September 11th, we, we, I, I'm old enough to remember that. I was with some of you. Uh, when terrorists attacked this nation, flew planes into uh, the World Trade Centers, uh, into the Pentagon, and when a number of very courageous people tried to, to uh, take over uh, Flight 93 that was on its way from New Jersey to San Francisco, uh, and when terrorists took it over and tried to uh, fly it into the U.S. Uh, Capitol building, these people tried to take it over, and, and eventually they downed that plane in Pennsylvania. And uh, I remember what a, a terrifying, upsetting time that was. And I struggled in my heart with, you know, what word do I bring to the church at that time? And I remember seeing uh, our uh, WTOC uh, doing a little program on this kid in the school. Uh, it was really about the teacher who invited the children to express their grief and anxiety through art. And so they drew pictures and they did creative things with clay. And I thought, you know, I need to write a song. And I wrote this song to remind us that I believe we're at our greatest when we, we set our sights on God. That's when we find our unity. And, and right now it feels like we're really divided. And, and like all of you, I'm praying that we can be united uh, in God again. Um, I'm very proud to say that after I wrote this song, um, back when he was pretty cool, Rudolph Giuliani wrote me a letter to say thank you for this song because it was released in New York City. And, and uh, I'm extremely proud. I still have uh, the presidential citation at home from President George W. Bush who, who gave me a presidential hand signed and, and it was just really impressive thing to me, but I think the thing that blessed me the most about this song is it gave people hope. It gave people inspiration, and we really did, I think, in a lot of ways, come together as a nation, and that's what I'm praying for right now. So I know I'm taking a little extra time today, but so be it. This is called Shoulder to Shoulder. Yeah. 
of the darkest night, oh Lord. I know you'll light, I know you'll light the way. Now our hearts are weighing heavy, Lord. Our eyes are filled with tears. But our nation's growing stronger now. Freedom without fear. Yes, God bless America and the truth for which she stands. Yes, God bless America. And God bless this land. Praise be to you.